Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this fall cranberry look for you using the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette as well as her highlighter by Becca Cosmetics called Champagne Pop. If you can get your hands on these items, you should. I definitely recommend them. They're gorgeous. And yeah, so if you like this look, please keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know what other kind of tutorials or videos you want to see. Thanks so much for watching. So just to save some time, I already did my brows and my foundation. So the first thing we're going to go in with is this nice crease color in the Morphe palette. It's like a warm brown tone and we're just going to pop that into our crease. So the next color I'm going to take is this dark kind of chocolate brown and then I'm just going to put that in my crease as well, bringing my brush a little bit lower. So we're just going to kind of do a layering effect. By doing this, you're going to be creating some nice depth in that crease and just, you know, want to give some definition to the eye. Here I'm focusing that champagne kind of color right on the center of the eye. Just want to create some definition to the eye. So using this pencil brush by MAC, I'm going to really focus the cranberry color on the outer portion of my lid and then I'm going to just be dragging that color um, towards the center, but I want to stay below the crease. I always like to go back in with a blending brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended and then I am also going to reapply some of that champagne color on the center of the lid just in case I got too much cranberry um, on the center of the lid. I'm just taking champagne pop on a small brush and I am placing that in the inner corner of my eyes as well as under my brow bone just to do a little bit of highlighting. I really love this highlighter. It's like the perfect kind of like rosy gold tone. So in my attempt to cover up these bags, I am going in with my favorite NYX HD concealer and I'm just going to bring that underneath my eyes, uh, down the center of my nose and just all the places that I'd like to highlight my face. I love using this small stippling brush by e.l.f. just to really blend out that concealer. So here I'm just going in with the brown crease shade that I used and then I'm also going to go in with the cranberry underneath my eye as well just to add some definition. So now for the winged liner, I'm going to use a black gel liner and a small angled brush and create a nice wing.
with wooden eyeliner you just want to take your time and remember that practice makes perfect it's taken me a really long time to even get to a halfway decent winged out eyeliner but I just keep practicing and I think I'm getting a little better Since I'm not big on uh, false eyelashes or anything like that, I just like to curl my lashes and then I love using this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Um, it's really lengthening and I like how it separates all of my lashes. So then I'm going in with the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and this is just in a couple of shades lighter so it's really going to do the brightening up rather than the covering up of um, the under eye area. So again, I'm going in with my e.l.f. small stippling brush and I'm just going to blend that out really nicely, make sure there's no harsh lines. Then you're going to want to set that with a translucent powder and the one I like using is this one by Makeup Forever. by NARS it's Laguna and I'm just bronzing up my face you want to really make sure I bring it down the neck so it doesn't look discolored or anything like that then I'm just adding a little bit of NARS orgasm blush to my cheekbones So the star of this tutorial, Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics Highlighter Champagne Pop. Yeah, who says that you can't highlight for fall? I still am, so uh, here you can see I am just adding that to the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose. I like to highlight my cupid's bow, um, my chin, and a little bit of my forehead as well. So of course you're going to want to blend everything out nicely and not see any harsh lines from using this stippling brush by Sigma to do that. Moving on to the lips, I am just going to line my lips lightly with this NYX Cosmetics lip liner and then I am filling in my lips as well with the lip liner and then we'll go over that with my Milani lipstick. I really love this lip combo. I think it just pulls the whole look together and I am obsessed with dark lips for fall. I feel like you could wear dark lips anytime but I especially love them in fall. So I'm just going back in with that cranberry color and touching up whatever I feel needs to be touched up as well as going back in with Champagne Pop just to really highlight the inner corners of my eyes because I love how that looks. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks guys. Bye.